the local disk, whatever the number is, is not available, not accessible or access is denied. If you are experiencing this issue, I will teach you how to resolve this right now. So the first thing you have to do to resolve this problem, to resolve this issue, is opening your computer file explorer. Then we are going to click on this PC and navigate to the problematic drive. I don't have any problems with my drives right now, but let's suppose that my local disk E is having a problem. Right click on it, select properties, and now pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you. This issue may be happening with your external hard drive, SSD, or another hard drive you install your computer, perhaps even with a USB drive. So no matter which device is encountering the problem, it can be resolved. And it's actually quite simple. So what's happened is that, for some reason, the access to this drive has been interrupted. So your user account or the user account on your machine that you set up when you're formatting or something like that, or however formatted it for you, or the one you created when configuring your computer, has been denied access. So the reason can vary, but what is important is that we can actually fix it, and we are resolving right now. So you're gonna click on security. In this area on the computer or laptop, we add this user to the drive so that they have access to the drive. And it's very simple. Click on edit. But stay tuned to the end of the video because if this method doesn't work for you, I will leave you a message at the end to help you resolve this issue. So coming back to this video, if you can't find your user here, you're gonna click on add. And in the dialog that opens, add a user. But I don't know what my computer user is, so that is no problem at all. I will teach you how to find a user right now. You actually are gonna right click on the task bar right here, go on the task manager, and here you are going to the users. Here you choose who the username of your computer or laptop. So make a note of this name so you don't forget it and type it into the box. You can also just minimize the window if you just can remember or write down the name, okay? And you can also just bring it on the side and here you're going to write same name. So type the same name into the test box, sometimes even typing just part of the name and then clicking check names will complete for you. It will find the user and after that click OK and then with this thing selected you are going to click on full control click OK you might get an error message and you're gonna click continue and repeat the process until it closes okay for me it doesn't give any error but for you probably you do because your hard drive is actually the problem so once you've done it, the drive will be unlocked and be ready for you to use. And remember, this method works for, for any disk drive, so keep that in mind, okay? If it didn't work, I will leave all the related videos at the end of this video and you can actually try the methods I've shown. If you are interested in basic computer topics, the internet and the technology, welcome to the channel, subscribe, like the video and leave your comments below, of course, and see you later.